Hello, welcome to Life Cannot Wait, spelled W-E-I-G-H-T. I am your host, Angela Johnson Ayers, and I am so glad to be here with you today. Let me ask you a question. What if someone borrowed $100 from you and you were like, okay, um, anytime, cool. And they were like, okay, you know what? I appreciate it. Then a week later, they pay you $99 back. And you're like, wait a minute, this, this is 99. You know I mean? I'm not petty if you don't have the extra dollar. That's cool, but it's just a dollar. And they say, no, 99 is close. I'm going to let you have that. How do you feel? Even though, like, you know, you told the person, hey, it's just a dollar. It's not a big deal. But it's not the 100. It's not the exact. And it's definitely not extra. Okay? But a lot of us settle for just 99 and a half in many areas of our lives. For me, I'm going to equate it to weight loss. Um, let me tell you how I got this story. Um, I was talking to a few people over the course of a few weeks, you know, and they were just saying, you know, Ange, you really look great. You know, um, you've been keeping up the good work, you know, um, losing your weight and everything. And, and so they said, what, what, what are you, what's, your, what's your secret? Everybody thinks it's a secret. And I tell them, I just, I go to the gym and I push myself and I work hard at that gym. And then I also, I try to watch what I eat. I, I'm not, uh, you know, a fanatic, but I try not to eat a lot of carbs and I try not to eat all the time. Um, and so someone said, well, are you trying to lose? I told them, I said, I, I'm going to lose, I want to lose 10, 10, 15 more. And they were like, well, why do you want to do that? You know? And then I said, well, I want to see what I would look like as a six. I have six. That's just me. You know, I'm 5'9". Um, I always wanted to model. And so I know, I always know, even if I become a size six, I won't be thin enough to be a straight model, which is the, the, the really thinner models. So I would still probably be considered plus size because of how I'm shaped, even though I wear like an eight or a 10. And I just want to see what I look like. And so um, they were like, but you're fine the way you are. And I thought, well, I'm very thankful that I'm no longer in a 26 and that I can shop at any store. I don't have to just go to specific stores for uh, 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 plus size women. However, this is my personal goal. And it's not a goal that I set because I have an eating disorder or because I have um, body image issues. It's just my goal. And so, um, and if I don't like how I look as a six, if I think I look emaciated, hey, I know where the local Krispy Kreme is. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? But in all seriousness, and so, but it made me think, I said, okay, now, that's, that's interesting that people will say to you in many areas, you fine, you all right the way you are. Or maybe some of you, you need to go back to school and finish your degree. You started it and you haven't finished it. You're in that 99% when it comes to your education. Or maybe some of you, it's in your relationships with people. You only give that 99 instead of 100. What are you holding out on, you all? And for those of us in this weight loss surgery community and anyone who wants and is trying to lose weight, I want to encourage you with this video to push yourself to greatness. People say that all the time, you know, and I know you all get sick of us self-help, life coach, so-and-so, so-and-so people. But I'm talking from experience, not just from education, from educational perspective, not just from a uh, professional, but I'm also coming from experience with you all. You were created to do and to be great. And the only way to obtain that is to push past mediocrity. I can't stand, I'm telling you, it makes me sick, mediocrity. When you're just like, well, I'll just settle. This is what it is, hey, that's not it. Push yourself, see how great you can be. When you go to that gym, people, I'm telling you, there is no secret. There's no people say to me sometimes, they're like, well, how come you don't have a lot of loose skin? You lost 150 pounds. You know, did you have any surgeries done as far as plastic surgeries? And no, I have not. Um, I was just blessed to, to my skin, the elasticity in it. Um, it didn't have a, extra, a lot of extra, you know, um, but I work, you have to work at it. You got to go to those gyms and you're going to use some weights. Hold on for a minute. You're going to have to use something like this. These are weights, okay? And they're called weights for a reason because it can hold you down. But if you use a weight 
for a positive, it can lift you up. So that those arms, those biceps, you're building them. That's the same for your life. You can either allow weights to build you or to tear you down. And so for some of you, yes, you've lost, let's say you may have lost 100 pounds, 200 pounds, and you're content, but you know you still have another 50 to go. Don't just settle and say, well, hey, I'm not what I used to be. No, you're not, but you're not what you could be. Do you understand? This is not about so other people can, can, and can say, oh, girl, you look so good. This is so you can push yourself to greatness because I'm going to tell you what happens when you push past mediocrity. Something happens within yourself, and it's almost like you're gliding. That's why I love exercising so much. I love it because it gives me an opportunity to push past that limit. I love using that arc trainer at, at the gym. And it is similar to elliptical, but it's not the same. And I get on that thing and I raise that resistance. And, 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 and so, and I do, I try to do at least 45 minutes on that thing. Now, when I get to 20 minutes, I start thinking, oh my God. But I can feel that my body still has not pushed itself to where it could push. I say, Angela, just keep going. And I got my music pumping, you understand what I'm saying? And then I feel something kick in once I get past that, that medium point. When I go past mediocrity and start pushing towards greater. The next thing you know, your heart rate is going. You can breathe better. Your lungs are expanding. And you are at a whole nother level. Well, that's where you have to get to. You, gotta, you, can't, you can't just say, well, I've lost the weight. I'm all right. For some of you all, you may have lost the physical weight, but you're still not fixing yourself up. You're still um, um, walking around as if you're carrying the extra 200 and 300 pounds you lost. You're going to have to push yourself to get out of that comfort zone and to be great. And I'm telling you the steps to do it. People, a lot of times people will say to you, you just, you need to, you just got to be great. I'm going to tell you how you become great. You want to know? Push past the point of pain. Push past the point of exhaustion. For example, when I was in graduate school, many a nights, I was exhausted. I feel like working on a thesis or studying. But if I wanted to graduate or get a good grade, I better have gotten up and pushed past my own comfort and my own pain. For those of you who've given birth like I have, come on women, if you don't push past that pain, that baby's got to come out one way or the other, right? And you gotta push it out. That's the only way. It's just like if you at nighttime, you know, and you're sitting there and you're watching everything and anything on TV and you're like, you know, I could be reading uh, an encouraging book. You know, me as a Christian, I believe in reading the word of God. I'm like, you know, I could get up from this couch looking at smut TV and I could get my word and read my Bible. That will push me past the familiar. The familiar is I'm going to sit here and watch another episode of Real Housewives or blah, 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 blah. Or I can get my butt out of that bed and do something else that I really may not want to do, but need to do. Some of you all just need to just let some people go. But you're so comfortable being around these stinking, thinking, negative people till it frightens you to push past and say, I might be lonely for a season, but I'm going to walk this thing out to greatness. Stop settling. You don't have to. I'm telling you, you don't. It's going to take time. But once you accomplish it, Move on to the next thing. I think about it. It's like for me, I'm very task oriented. I like to start something, finish it, and move on to the next thing. However, the only thing my issue is, and my husband always tells me, is I don't take enough time to celebrate the accomplishment. You know what I'm saying? I might get the degree or write a book or do something and poof, I'm moving on to something else. I'm not anything but I think no more. But you all, I'm telling you, when it comes to our weight, and who we are. First of all, you're so blessed to be able to have any avenue to lose weight. But for those of you who have had weight loss surgery, to have the privilege and the opportunity and the financial means to get, a, or the insurance, thank God for me, Blue Cross Blue Shield, holla, to get weight loss surgery and then to not push yourself to be as great as you can be, to me it's like a smack in God's face. Like God gave you this blessing and you can't even maximize it? That's insane. That's like for some of you, God has blessed you with a home, but you're too lazy to get up and clean it. God's giving you children, but y'all, some, some of you might be too lazy to, 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 to raise them. 
Come on, people. When are we going to push past? I'm telling you, push past mediocrity. People notice, and that's a testimony, and it encourages others. That's another reason why I love um, the transformation that my life has taken. Because people notice, and it encourages. It's either going to do two things for them. It's going to piss them off royally, where they're not going to stand you, and that, that green monster of jealousy is going to heap up on them, and you'll see it. Or it's going to encourage them to do the same. And that's what you want to be. You want to make disciples out of your life. So another heavier person can say, you know what, if Angela was able to lose some weight, I know I can do it. But they're not going to notice if you stopped at the, median, mid, at the middle point. They'll say, well, she did it, but she didn't finish. Be a finisher. I love, my favorite sport to watch is track and field. Oh, I love track. Because don't you see those women and those men, I mean, you see every muscle. They look, it's beautiful, bring tears to your eyes, maybe, whoop. But they don't get to the Olympics by being mediocre. You get there for being the best. And once you're there, you perform at your optimum level. So you all, 99 and a half just will not do anymore. Be the best you can be, the best God created you to be. You win it to win it. Hey, until then, I see you. Remember, life cannot wait. Bye-bye.